Hi friends, welcome to VTS. Today I want to discuss about networking and internetworking. How we are constructing our systems through a network. What type of networks? How many types of networks? All the topics will be discussed here. So the networks used in distributed systems are built a variety of transmission media and hardware devices and software components. If it is a transmission media, then it may be connected through a wire, cable, fiber. Okay. It is a hardware device, maybe routers, switches, bridges, hubs. It is a software, so protocol stacks, communication handles, and drivers. So by using all these things, you are connecting your computers. Maybe it is a wired or wireless. Now, so these are the some terminology. Communication subsystem that means the collection of software and hardware systems. Okay, and host nothing but computer. So maybe it is a sender side or receiver side. Node, node is nothing but any computers uh, they are switching device attached to a network. So it is a computer. This is another computer. So this is called a node. Okay, this is called a node. Now what are the network performance parameters? So, when you are sending the data, okay, before sending the data, whether your systems are connected in a network or not, okay. So, for that, these are the network performance parameters. Network latency, that means the delay that occurs after a send operation is executed before data starts to arrive the destination computer so source and destination so so the network latency it should be strong it should be strong so it measured as time required to transfer an empty message so how much time it required for transmitting the data from one place to another place now if the message is decided then what is the data transfer rate so here Data transfer rate is nothing but so how much speed it requires for sending the data from one network to another network. For example, I am taking a bus. Okay. Okay, bus. So when it travels, okay, what is the speed of this bus? Okay, maybe it is a 70 kilometers per hour. That is KMPH. It is 80 kmph that means kilometer per hour that means if you maintain 80 so it may be it will reach the destination with the same speed that can be represented by kilometer per hour and determined primarily by network physical characteristics so here also when you are sending the data from one place to another place the message it has also one data transfer rate now so up to now we have discussed we are establishing or we are constructing a network. So, how many types of networks are there? So, types of network. So, maybe LAN, WAN, MAN, Internet work. So, all these are the wired and remaining are the. So, this is wired and these are wireless. Okay. Maybe the network, it is uh, TCP and this is UDP. All these comes under UDP and all this comes under TC. So, this is the range and this is the bandwidth and this is the latency. Okay. All these are the data properties. Now, first we will see in the networking personal area networks, PAN, simply we will call as a PAN. So, how our system is connected? So, PANs are a subcategory of local network. So, basically, when you are discussing the wired technology, okay, so here PAN, personal area network. So these are connected to the systems, these are the systems and these are devices. So within a short range, okay, you can communicate. If the range is high, then it doesn't work. So examples are Bluetooth. So within the premises only, by using Bluetooth, we can transmit the data. For example, I am using phone. So, I have Bluetooth option. So, if my Bluetooth access area is 10 meters only. So, up to 10 meters, okay. So, now I am in radius of 13 meters. 
what happens the communication will cut so within the 10 meters only the communication will happen if you want to improve then you can go for another network what is the network here lan local area network so here we are dividing the total networks into different segments a segment nothing but that servers a department or a floor that means within the building you want to establish a connection okay so these are the this is your system and uh, all this connected with in a building so it is a apartment if you apartment you want to provide internet facility so you can use lan or in any college also you can use this lan next one man metropolitan network man so within a city okay so within a city you want to establish a connection in this time you will use this server you will use or with the help of the server you can connect all your systems this is man so in the previously 10 meters that is pan so it may be 50 meters it is lan maybe it is a 50 kilometers you can use this man maybe i want to increase distance then you can use van wide area network so this is a wide area network so that means from one place to any place so see in this entire world you can send your message to anywhere not only india not only uh, us not only china from one place to another place you can send so this is all the systems are connected in van so then entire world you can send the information and when sending this data you are using switching concept actually this is a switching techniques that means when you are using this large networks a multiple paths you have to establish from sender side and receiver side so the one is circuit switching and another one is packet switching what happens in circuit switching and packet switching now we will see one by one so first circuit switching in circuit switching it's a technique it establishes a connection or it's a path between sender and receiver in circuit switching once the connection is established then the dedicated path will remain to exist until the connection is terminated so the best example is telephone suppose i want to make a call to my friend so when i am lifting the receiver i am dialing the number and connecting so so this is sender and receive so this data is continuously transmitting so this is circuiting now coming to packet switching so quite opposite to the circuit switching so when you are sending the data maybe the data will vary but finally it will reach so what happens here in packet switching the data will be transmitted in the form of packets so which packet to be passed are priority based we are implementing this packet switching so every packet contains some information okay so it has some headers and source address destination and the sequence number so the data is storing in packets and the data will be transmitted in the form of packets so this is a switching scheme so this is circuit so this is packet if you observe here when the data is dividing into packet so these are the packets multiple packets the multiple packets are depends on the length of the message now these are circuit switching continuously whatever we are starting the order the same order will follow until it ends the destination this is circuit while coming to the packet switching we are taking the order but here by using some algorithms we are giving priority so which packet may send first which may packet may send late so but finally we will transmit the data so this is the difference between circuit switching and packet switching okay so this is the explanation of this circuit and packet switching thank you